It's a this is a heck of a win <coughs> for our program. Uh, we've got tremendous respect uh, for the job that Coach Mack has done uh, this season. They've been one of the elite teams in the country, and for us to win tonight, uh, we were going to have to be special on one end or the other. So either we were going to have to have an incredible shooting night and survive defensively, or we were going to have to be incredible defensively and try to survive offensively. Uh, and that's what we did. Uh, I thought we made their most of their looks from three difficult. Uh, they countered that by going inside. We were willing to give up some of that uh, to keep them off the three-point line uh, and, you know, built the lead. And I, the, the start of the game, they were two of 16 possession-wise. And I, I really thought that Jeff's energy uh, at the start of the game, I thought the team just fed off that. And, you know, he and Maurice are our leaders. Uh, they did a fabulous job tonight. Obviously, Maurice had a, a, a spectacular game. Uh, it's not easy attacking that 1-3-1 one, one with their length and size, and he was able to get into some crevices. Uh, when they first went to it, we, we had some open shots. We missed it, missed them, uh, and then they just kept turning up, turning up the heat. But he finally kind of broke the code and, and got inside of it and made some big plays. So, uh, you know, we wanted to be playing meaningful games in February. That's what we talked about at the start of the season. Uh, that have postseason implications, and, and tonight was one of those. If we lose tonight, <laughs> then Saturday's game doesn't mean as much. Uh, so, you know, we won a game that mattered, and that makes the next few games matter. So we just uh, have to try to build on what was a great win tonight. couldn't see much and that was the problem um, you know they, those guys have great lengths you know with um, you know Makura up top and then with Reynolds in the middle uh, and I was being kind of tentative with driving down the lane um, but you know my teammates told me to stick with it and you know they told me to be aggressive and they were giving me adjustments to make all night uh, you know so once I started listening to them then things started opening up um, so you know credit to those guys. Uh, it means a lot you know, uh, Coach Mack and Crane took a chance on me when I decided to transfer. And, you know, we put in a lot of work last year uh, on my year off. And, you know, to see it pay off and to have – and to see everyone have so much faith in me, um, you know, it kind of makes me a little emotional. Um, just in the fact that, you know, when you're told that, you know, you can't do it and, and when you're on a team where people don't have expectations for you. So, um, you know, it's just emotional. And I'm just happy that my guys had the faith in me and the trust in me, you know, to, you know, to help them out tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we knew going into this game, you know, so like last game, uh, they were a very good uh, rebounding team, you know, with Reynolds and, and Farr in the post. They they crashed the boards hard, and uh, I think we did a great job of boxing them, them and out uh, at most points in the game. And uh, just going to get the ball, that was a huge, uh, huge point in our victory tonight. Yeah, well, when we uh, when we jumped on them early, we got uh, two or three stops in the road to start the game, and you know got the whole building going, which really <coughs> helped the energy throughout the whole game. And those first uh, first couple of possessions were key. Key. Yeah. Well, Maurice is an, uh, a very good point guard. You know, uh, it's just a, a spectacle to watch him. You know, being such a, a short point guard going in there and, you know, finish amongst uh, uh, the big guys. So it's it's really fun to watch and uh, feel blessed to be his teammate. Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, they were they were switching a lot and, uh, you know, early on in the game, I was kind of dribbling too much because of the switches, and you know, it was it was making our offense stagnant. Uh, but once I was able to, you know, you know, swing the ball and get the ball back uh, when the guy was chasing, you know, and I was able to get into the lane and force guys to help, you know, and because my teammates are such good shooters, you know, they don't really want to help um, off of those guys, so it allowed me to get into the lane, and you know, right then and there, it's just up to everything that I do in the gym every day.
Well, uh, it's been our goal from the start to get back to the NCAA tournament, and we're sitting there right on the right on the bubble. You know, we're fighting to get in, and that's uh, this was a big win for us. You know, at the end of the year, if we're sitting on the bubble, this will be in a uh, big win for us, and uh, hopefully push us over the edge to get into the tournament. You know, we just got to stay with it. You know, um, each. You know, and that's something that Coach Mack has harped on. You know, whether we're playing against, you know, UTSA, you know, no disrespect to them, but playing against UTSA or, you know, number five, Xavier, each possession matters. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, we take taking each game, you know, game by game, day by day, uh, you know, play by play. And I think if we do that, you know, you know, we play 30 second games, you know, you know, throughout each game, then I think we'll be good because, you know, we're locked in and we're focused and, you know, we're just paying attention, you know, to detail. And, you know, I, I don't think we can't get, you know, we can't look too far ahead. You know, we got to just keep. You know, stay solid, stay grounded, you know, stay hungry. Um, and that's one of the advantages that we have, just stay hungry. Who was the uh, you know, they're, you know, they're right here. Um, you know, we use that as motivation. You know, we use, we use those bad tastes in our mouths to, you know, to fuel us. You know, we, you know, we, you know, we just yelled in the huddle, you know, we're not going to have another Georgetown game tonight. Um, and, and, and I think everybody got that message and, you know, they locked in and we rebounded and, you know, and we, it's, and we held this lead tonight. Uh, I think it speaks a lot for our uh, just toughness and grit, you know, being able to lose three games in a row and turn it, turn it around, win two big games. Uh, you know, it speaks a lot for WAP, uh, WAP's leadership and, and – uh, and the guys being able to, you know, fight and and turn this thing around. Well, it, it was it's right up near the top because we we needed this game. Uh, we we've we've had opportunities because of the league we're in and because of the non-conference schedule we played to have signature wins, and we've fallen short several times. So uh, to be able to get it done and to see the way he did it, uh, you know, it was, it's it was really a special performance by a by a really good point guard. You know, you, I, I thought our fight was good tonight. You know, and I thought it was good. You know, they're long and athletic, and they're going to get some uh, because they're shooting threes. And let's be honest, they missed some threes that were open that they normally make. But we also missed some threes in the second half early against that zone that were, were pretty wide open that, that I'm good with those shots. So, uh, But I, I thought our fight was good. I thought our guards got in. And if you look at the rebound, you know, Maurice gets seven, Z gets five. Uh, you know, so our guards were active on the defensive glass, which you have to have if you're gonna if you're gonna hang with a team like Xavier. Well, I mean, you're thrilled to death because you know what they're capable of. Uh, and obviously, you know, they, they made a run towards the end of the half a little bit, and we were able to stretch it back out uh, and, and go into the locker room up 10. Uh, but you knew something was coming the second half. I knew the 1-3-1 one, one was coming. Uh, and, and I, you know, you think you're prepared for it, but it's so hard to simulate that in practice. And, and you know, like the question you guys asked Maurice, what did you see? And he said, well, that was a problem I couldn't see. Uh, you know, their length is, is difficult for someone his size. But he finally got into the crevices of it. Uh, but... Uh, you know, it, it, the start of the game was huge because uh, it got the crowd into the game and our energy defensively, I think, fueled the crowd. And then the start of the second half, they, you know, they didn't score on their first five possessions. We score on three out of five. So we take a 10-point lead and make it an 18-point lead in the first five possessions. If that's flipped, if it goes from 10 to 2, now it's a whole different game. So uh, I thought our five starters 
really had us ready to go. And, you know, James had to step in. Taz was under the weather. Uh, so, you know, I thought he stepped in and did an admirable job uh, when, you know, he found out he was starting about 15 minutes before the game. I saw a lot of potential. Uh, you know, he, he has the he, he has the potential to beat you with the pass so much that you have to respect that. And now, like Jeff said, you know, some of those finishes when you go back and slow them down and watch them, you'll you know they look like layups to the naked eye watching the game. But if you watch those slowly, those were hard, hard shots. And he's just just really creative. Uh, so, uh, you know. I don't think it's any secret. Maurice is a rather confident guy, you know. And but he's also worked hard to back some of that up. He's it's, he's not a guy that runs his mouth with confidence, but doesn't back it up with a work ethic. Uh, he spent time in in his season off, uh, honing his skills, getting better shooting the basketball, working on those floaters and finishes, and he's stuck with that throughout this season. So, uh, you know, that confidence and that edge, I think I think you need some of that on your team, and he certainly brought that to our to our basketball team. Yeah, you know, we had some issues uh, in that three-game stretch, starting with Georgetown late in the game, turnovers that led to baskets. That happened against Seton Hall. It happened against Villanova. Uh, and, it, you know, you, you can't do that. You know, that's – it's, uh, you know, it's the turnover in the Super Bowl at the five-yard line that leads to a touchdown. It just, those change the game. Uh, and we've gotten better at that. And, you know, Maurice has the ball in his hands, and, and he's got a lot – to do with that, and that's why we want him to start with the, bo the ball in his hand. So, uh, you know, I've talked all year with this group. We need constant improvement, I, albeit sometimes slow at times. I think we're moving the right direction. Uh, and, you know, we this was an important game. We got the job done, and we it, it's allowed us to make sure Saturday's game is now important. Uh, but it's, you know, we, we can't pat ourselves on the back too long because Marquette's fighting for their lives as well. You know, part of it is certainly the guy guarding him, but and it, equal to that is the help and the position it's in. We switched the ball screens. Uh, we made the decision to guard blew it small and put our four-man on Abel. Uh, so those ball screens didn't become a mismatch now with blew it pop and shooting shots. So, uh, you know, sometimes you decide to do that and it works, and sometimes you decide to make a call like that and it doesn't work. But uh, I thought Maurice was good on him uh, and kept him out of the paint and kept him out of transition. I mean, that's where – in my mind, when he gets downhill, he's a runaway train, and he's he's hard to defend in transition. And we, we we decided to commit four guys to defensive transition most of the night, and I thought we were able to kind of uh, plug up his driving lanes early and not let him get in a flow because once he gets rolling, he's very difficult to stop. Thank you. Thank you.